fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to be talking about pleat symbols on your sewing patterns. On this example here which is on a neckline and as you can see there's a gradual curve and there are little peaks. That is because it's on a curve. Now for pleats they are generally two parallel lines and you have circles that indicate matching up points. So you'd match this circle to that line and that circle to that line in order to give your pleat. In some sewing pattern, um, they also give an arrow for the direction of where the pleat is going to lie, whether it's going to lie towards the center front or away from the center front. Here is another example of um, a pleat. Now this time it's along the waistline, so you don't get that much of a peak and again we've got the parallel lines and we've got the circles to end to indicate that you need to match one to the other and what you will find is that there are parallel lines and your sewing pattern will indicate to you how far you are going to stitch your pleat if that is the case and then it will tell you more information of where the stitching line will match up and be sewn again is another example where you've got the two parallel lines remember pleats are always in parallel lines and you've got your markings to match them up and with this one it's actually giving you the direction in which the pleat will actually fold in order to create the pleat so the pleats will be all going towards the center of the garment I just want to clarify when it comes to multi-size patterns that you'll find the same um, information is indicated for each one of these three sizes so you've got the box shape and you've got the other box shape for another size and the other size so remember it is just the box shape for one pleat per size I know it can be a little bit confusing with so many straight lines on your sewing pattern but just remember that the pleat lines are usually a little bit denser and there's a lot of information on your sewing pattern to help you through the process don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I will see you next time.